Hello, in today's, in today's geotech talk, I'm going to talk about focused geospatial solutions. I'm not going to talk about products, I'm going to talk about focused solutions. So what is that? These are what a lot of the geospatial companies have been releasing to help sell their platforms, and, and there are lots of them. Um, these are actual focused things that do something. Oh, it could be a mobile application, it could be a web application, and it solves particular focused problems, leveraging geospatial technology. Now, a lot of our world today in geospatial is focused in, I will say GIS actually, let me separate. GIS is focused on the public sector, so that's local and state and federal organizations. A lot of my thinking and focus is around the commercial sector, I'll admit that, and that's really again where this, the thrust of this and other talks I've done are. In the commercial sector, the GIS particularly has not penetrated, it's not been very successful. The value proposition is, is really yet to be demonstrated and there is a lot of reasons for that. Taking old approaches is one of them, trying to transfer how we've done things in the public sector to the, to the private sector hasn't really worked very well. And one thing we really lack in the commercial sector are focused solutions and one of the arguments I'll, I've used and will use in future talks is we need to start thinking about building some of those focused solutions out. Now there are these things called point solutions which are these isolated, do things on their own and not connected to anything else solutions. That's my rough interpretation of that. Today in, in, with the use of platforms and the cloud we can obviously connect these solutions together. So for example the data source that you're using in this application is shared within a central cloud-based platform. There, there's an example of where we're moving away from a point solution to really a solution which is connected synergistically to other applications uh, and within the organization. So, so we really lack those things and I, I would argue, I spoke recently about IoT and how IoT in the commercial sector is one of those ways to bring geospatial technologies into the private sector without using our usual mapping location intelligence vernacular. It's an obvious, there are obvious ways to demonstrate and tell stories using IoT to get the attention and to have that value proposition understood by C-level executives. I would also argue that, the, that focused solutions are another approach. And I realize there's, a, there's, there's more of that happening, but there needs to be a lot more of demonstrating a solution to a problem for a C-level executive that they get straight away. And that's not as easy as we think. We've got to get out of our box of this is how we've always designed applications and thought about things. Uh, the map-centric approach, maybe, maybe not. But we've got to think differently about how we approach the private sector. And I believe one of our approaches to success is to start building, thinking about, and building focus solutions. Low-hanging fruit focus solutions may be focused in those sectors that we perceive as being easy sectors for us to get into. And, and I'm going to argue that, that, that I did a talk on supply chain um, recently. Um, supply chain is not, is not an easy sector to get into in geospatial. Seems like it should be, but it's not. Nor particularly uh, is real estate. Location, location, location. That has it's fundamentally geospatial, but it's not an easy sector for us to get into. Focus Solutions is a way for us to demonstrate value without using our vernacular that we use with folks that understand geospatial technology. So I focus on this particular talk on us really thinking and building out simple focus solutions which demonstrate the power of geospatial technology to solve particular problems in particular sectors. You can subscribe to the channel in the bottom corner here and we'll have more of these talks coming up in the near future. Thanks for watching.